Hello everyone, Michael here. I'm going to show you how to connect Opus to Discord. You do not have to do it. We have a built-in option to allow your players to join your room directly and play their own audio and listen to what you're doing. But alternatively, if you really want to use Discord and you don't want your players to use the tools we offer them, you can use Kenko FM to connect both. Kenko FM is a free or not tool that you can download on kenku.fm. The link is in the description and in the top comment. Uh, I say it's free or not because you can choose how much you pay for it. I strongly suggest if you like the tool to pay for it, but for this uh, demonstration, we will not. So click on here, buy now. You can choose your amount for the moment, it's zero. And now you can download for Windows or Mac OS. I'm gonna install it. And I will show you from there how we keep going. Kangoo FM is now installed. Let's see how we connect to this one. Here, click in the top right corner on the plus and write describe.com. And we're going to connect. It takes a few seconds because it works like a browser. In the top right corner here, you can connect to your account. When it's done, you have access to Opus. Here, I can just launch and I can play the audio as you are used to. And now you can go in the top left corner in the bookmark, you add the full address directly to Opus like this and write describe Opus or whatever name you want. You can do that with any other website. You can do it uh, with Spotify, YouTube, and so on. Now, let's see how we can connect that directly to uh, Discord. Now it is time to create the bot that we connect Kenku FM and Discord. You go on this address, it's in the description and in the pinned comment. You may have to go through a few uh, phases of identification and authentication to arrive there. Now, click on new application. You can name your bot however you want, but Kenko FM is perfect. You say you're human, I am a human. You may have to do a uh, double authentication and you arrive there. Now, click on OAuth2. Scroll down a bit, click on bot, scroll again, click on connect, speak, and copy the link that's at the bottom. Paste the link in a new browser page and you arrive there. It should open Discord directly. You can decide on which server you'd like to add the bot. I'm going to do it on a test server. Click continue, allow it to connect and speak, authorize. I'm still a human. I accept, and as you can see, it's here on the right. It's connected to my Discord server. The bot is currently offline on our Discord server. Go back to the developer's portal and click on bot. Now, click on reset token. Confirm you want to do it. Add your multi-factor authenticator and copy the token. Now, if you want, you can change the logo of your bot. And now it's time to go back to Kenku FM. The very last step on the left panel, click on Connect Discord. You paste the token you just copied from the developer's portal. You click Connect. Wait a second. Port 2. Uh, and then we click on Down here. And we see that my test server is here. If I play some audio right now, We hear audio is playing, and if I give a look at my Discord, we see that the bot is here. It's not connected to any voice chat. Now, if I go back to Kenko uh, FM and click General, I don't hear anything anymore. Why? Because the bot just moved from my computer to the Discord uh, channel. Let's check here. Kenko FM is here in the General channel. And if I join it, I have audio again. And from here, I can change the volume, and anyone can change the volume when they are in a channel. So here you are, have fun.